Hey, hi there you guys, Pisces. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. I really want to thank you guys, Pisces, for supporting my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and three cards from the Hermit Tarot. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Pisces, you've got the Six of Swords, Air Energy. This is Mercury in Aquarius. This is the overall theme of the reading. Being guided and redirected to calmer waters. This is forging forward. It's a transition or a movement of any kind recovery and mental healing and support. It's a calm and undisturbed future ahead. It's leaving your troubles behind. And now they're smooth sailing. It's the calm after the storm. It's a move or a journey being protected and redirected. This is a change that goes smoothly and it's relief at what you left behind. It's wanting to smooth it out. Could be going on a short trip somewhere, a spiritual journey. So be open for how things develop and have patience. This is someone in a somber state. They're coasting along, feeling weighed down by heavy thoughts and emotions. This is someone that needs to be open for how things are going to develop. And this is a release of tension, a release of anxiety. It's a release of something confusing or destructive, and it may have drained your energy. So let go of what is holding you back. This is a mental shift, a calming of emotions, and healing has begun. It's going with your head over heart, and trusting that your analytical ability will lead you to the right solution. It's distancing yourself from stressful thoughts. And you are in control. This could be an isolation or no contact. Not knowing where a relationship is going. But you are in control. And you're riding out rough times. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Pisces. The Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Sun in Capricorn. This is holding tightly to what you hold dear. This is the miser of the car of the deck. It's being defensive and in your comfort zone, being cautious and stable and conservative. It's trying to save your money or your spend less time doing or more time doing what you want and less what you don't. It's uh, having boundaries. This is a fixed attitude, which can limit and block you. Now these energies are restricted. They're stifled in this position. This is an actual letting go and sharing. It's releasing what has been clutched or hoarded. Someone might feel they have some financial instability or they could be losing some ground. This can also be a weakening of psychic boundaries. And the miser becomes generous. Emotionally, this person gives more of themselves to others. And in terms of structure, they become less rigid. They could also be a spendthrift or too free with money. It could be a setback in material ambitions. The Six of Swords with the Four of Pentacles is after adversity you are guided to move towards stability and mental healing. This is someone not wanting to take financial risks. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Pisces. Well, you're going to be having victory. The Six of Wands. 
fire energy. This is Jupiter in Leo. Card of success, victory, receiving accolades, pats on the back, it's triumph over adversity, speeding the odds, having victory at hand, and any past self-doubt has been resolved. This indicates good news and success, and having met all the challenges to your position or work or reputation, and then you come out with flying colors. It's taking action to win, and discovering what you're made of, and overcoming challenges. It's public recognition. It's working on projects that bring recognition. It can be a promotion an actual reward or cash prize. You'll need to remember to give gratitude. This is a card of achievement. It's the fulfillment, fulfillment of hopes and wishes. Could you know, The Six of Swords with the Six of Wands is success, a successful move. It's confidence and balance and harmony. It's relief and victory over stress. Two sixes in a reading represent irritability. Also, you are on the right path. Here's your fourth card. The card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Pisces, you've got this. Number six of the major arcana, the lovers. Now, this is your third six, which, when you have three sixes in your reading, that represents success. This is a Mercury card, Gemini. This is a Gemini card. This is a blessed union, a love relationship. It's a choice and a union, a decision. It can be an attraction of any kind. Union and harmony. This can be a choice between two equal factors, a struggle between sacred and profane love. It's harmony of the inner and outer aspects of life, and trials overcome. This is a soulmate card, people meant for each other, a blessed union, and the angel above them represents truth and strength found in their relationship. This is an important and usually long-lasting relationship. Marriage or commitment could be in someone's future. This can also be the choice between two paths, and taking the correct path means having to sacrifice the other path. This is a clear communication that needs to take place, and then there will be a higher understanding. So act with your heart, and then you will make the right choice at this crossroads. And as long as you do what you love, then everything else will follow naturally. This soulmate may be heaven sent by destiny. This other person has certain qualities that is attractive. There could be a need to heal a rift or a romantic involvement coming. Clear communication between this couple is needed if such a union is to take place. There are wishes to consummate in this relationship and merge with the other. It's finding commonality, making harmonious choices, forging deep connections with others. It's loving passionately and appreciating differences. It's being at a crossroads. The Six of Swords with the Lover's card, these are both Mercury cards. It's moving forwards towards a soulmate or a relationship. It's thinking of a relationship choice to change your direction in life. It's separation and loneliness is the subject. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Pisces. The Knight of Swords. Air energy. Gemini. This could be a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius. This is a Gemini card. This 
is a delivery, a movement that is swift, a conquest. This person is headstrong and they're impatient. They're on a white horse. This could be a pure message. This could be a person who is overly aggressive or argumentative. It can be a message of bad news or some kind of mental conflict. Or just it may come in at a bad time. There's differences of opinion. This person is always full of self-justification. They really believe in what they have to say. This can be a communication that comes rushing in and you may be unable to avoid things. This is someone who is a revolutionary. They're impatient and rushing. They're a debater, explorer, and they have a thin skin and they can create drama. They're sharp-minded, direct, and idealistic. They're a great problem solver and debater. They're rational and not driven by feelings, and they lead with their head over heart. They're headstrong and impatient, and this communication is very direct, and it can be cutting or piercing. And they feel very passionately about their own ideas, and they spare no one else's feelings in getting their point across. And they can even rush to, rush to judgment. And it can be very surprising. And any opposition will make them try even harder. They can even be a double talker, opinionated. They may be trying to win an argument. This is someone that may need to listen before they charge in, or else it's destructive. They can often jump to conclusions. The Six of Swords with the Knight of Swords is a rapid communication. It's taking charge. It could be lots of travel or adventure. It's steering and guiding and moving forward. It's networking. Also can be, in someone's case, a rapid retreat. It could be getting out of a place that you think is bad for you. It's expanding your horizons. Someone can be leaving while someone else is, is also advancing. The Four of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is withholding love, and that makes them feel like a powerful victor. And you make their ego feel good, even though they do nothing in return. They may be withholding. The Four of Pentacles with the Lover's card is you can find security and stability in a relationship. This one is a keeper. They may be cautious or unsure, or they're holding feelings inside and yet they still may come out. They are restraining themselves. They could be trying to decide how they feel, and they have a hard time deciding if it's love or something else. And when this couple comes together, there is an assured happiness and security, and they will never want for anything. The Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords is stubbornly holding on to get your point across. It can be a competition in business. Six of Wands with a lover's card is success in love. It's the one. This is reuniting with a past love. You even had a past life together. This is an extremely strong bond. It's choices with a relationship that lead to success and movement forward. And that's your third six representing success. Success is all over this reading, Pisces. Six of Wands with the Knight of Swords is taking action and knowing what your strengths are. This is someone that is sure of themselves. They could be rushing in to claim the prize or to win someone over, and they're impatient to win. The Lovers with the Knight of Swords, these are both Gemini cards. It's a fast change, a swift action. It's acting on impulse. This can be a difficult conversation that needs to take place. It can be passion for another, and its they're about to explode. Here's your first of the three of the Hermit Tarot cards. Number one, I have so much desire for you. That's like the Ace of Wands. Number one, I have so much desire for you. They're about to explode. Your second of the third of the Hermit Tarot. Number four, I need time for me. 
Well, that is much like the Four of Pentacles. Number four, I need time for me. And two fours in a reading represent you need some sleep. You may have some insomnia. Your third Hermit Tarot card, I want you to choose. There's that choice with the Lover's card, but I want you to choose. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching. She wants mom to hold her. Such a talker.